cars full of dedicated beer lovers patiently waiting outside the brewery gates in Westflaterin. Here in the rain, the drivers are waiting for the monks to open the doors and start selling their brew. You must drink not not more than uh, two two or three from from the, the heavy beer, and then it's uh, it's 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 you have become uh, uh, peaceful, not the drunk or uh, something like that, but peaceful. The monks brew three types of beer at the Abbey at Westflaterin. The most popular is Westflaterin 12, a dark beer with an 11% alcohol content. It's served a few meters away in the cafe at a pricey 4 euros 50 a bottle. I like it very much. Yeah, really. It's, it's fruity and kind of sweet. I like it. We tried to buy some at the, the Abbey, but it's too difficult to get in. West Vlederen is just so special. Um, and it's, it's very cozy to come with, uh, with a couple of friends. Or, uh, yeah. And I just really like it. <laughs> The beer has earned international fame on the internet. Best Flater in 12 is often voted as the best brew around. The cars here are from all over Europe. The drivers went online earlier to find out which of the three types are going on sale. Today it's Best Flater in 12. At two in the afternoon, Brother Michael opens the door to his drive-in beer shop, the only official sales point. A crate of 24 bottles costs 38 euros with 12 euros bottle deposit. It resells on the internet for three times that, a practice which is officially banned. Brother Michael has a lot to do, but his customers are a disciplined lot. Okay, this is the best beer in the world, yes. Not probably the best beer, but the best beer in the world. The monk checks the number plates of his customers. Sales are only made to those who ordered. There were 50 orders today, and the customers are lucky this time. They are allowed to buy up to three crates. The monks just sell what they have. That depends on the brewery. I have to make place for the brewery, so that's changed every day. Beer shopping in Westflateren is a special event and well worth recording. American Don Lohmann lives in Kassel in Germany. He drove 600 kilometers to pick up his beer. It's a really well-known beer and I'm a beer fan. I've heard a lot about this beer and we had to make the trip once to try it out and have a bit of fun. It's more the strecker coming and a bit of fun. The Trappist monks of Sankt Sixtus only brew enough beer to earn the money they need to get by. First of all, we are monks. When I came here, I was not interested in beer, in beer brewing, not at all. I've, I've come for, for God, for this community. community so I think I have a vocation not to make in beer, but for searching God. The monks also try to teach their customers a little about everyday life at the monastery. The Abbey Cinema shows films about life here, how the monks spend their days in prayer and at work. Monks have been brewing beer here for 160 years. The recipe hasn't changed for decades. The customers head back home with a good load of beer. It hasn't been cheap, but it's a small price to pay for what many claim is the best brew in the world.